You already know, man. We back with another one. No plug. Who is no plug? Are you talking about shark? Oh, man. Let's get into it. You already know. All roads lead to that west side. All roads lead to that west side. Who is No Plug? No Plug grew up on the west side of Atlanta. He's also known as Scully. In 2017, he released the single Don't Play, which featured 21 Savage. At the age of 26, he created a YouTube channel and started posting his music videos. This channel has attracted the attention of hip hop audiences. His early works like Birthday Recap, Street Niggas, and Lottery received over a thousand of viewers on YouTube. He dropped his first mixtape production titled Trap Limits in 2016. The following year, No Plug released two EPs, Culinary Arts 101 and Dale Earnhardt. The albums featured 21 Savage, Schoolie, Gunna, Huncho K, Young Scooter, Loso Loaded, Lil Duke, and others. The albums helped him to rise to fame in the hip hop industry. My point of view, man, I really feel like they tried to paint a bad picture on my brother and try to make him look like like he was a hater uh, it was some envy jealousy type shit you know what i'm saying and actuality you know what i'm saying bro been having this shit man he been in the condo years straight you know what i'm saying nigga got two condos across from each other penthouse shit he was a childhood friend of fellow rapper bankroll fresh on march 4th 2016 the two of them got into a fight at street exec studios over a previous incident and No Plug took Fresh handgun before leaving. He later came back for two cell phones, but Fresh began to fire on No Plug's car with an AK-47, leading to No Plug firing back and killing Fresh. He confessed in an online interview that he had killed Fresh in self-defense, and he was never charged with a crime. He pulled the gun, shot the motherfucker, couple shots got fired back, he got hit, I leave. Next thing you know, Folks calling me saying fresh dead, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no love in that city of hate. Scree! Rapper Bankroll Fresh was shot and killed on March 4th, 2016, after an altercation involving one of his childhood friends, fellow rapper No Plug, occurred at Atlanta Street Exec Studios. Months after Fresh's death, Plug admitted to his involvement in the murder but claimed that it was self-defense and that Fresh actually fired the first shot. Neither he nor any of his entourage present were charged for the shooting. Fresh called him and tell him he finna pull in the nine. You know what I'm saying? So he just pulled in the nine, you know what I'm saying? So we was like, we ain't really fucking with you like that, you feel me? So we just, he just got escorted out. Like he didn't get robbed, he didn't, like I wasn't gonna let none of that type shit happen, you know what I'm saying? Cause he had, he's still my boy, he was still with my boy, you feel me? But we just like, we, we just went seeing eye to eye. Plug would go on to taunt the whole bankroll fresh situation, especially when he posted a photo of himself standing in front of a car at a gas station with the caption, last nigga tried me, made the TV. The lyric comes from Plug's first day out track which he dropped not too long after Fresh passing. It seemed that Plug is alluding to murdering Fresh by bringing up this lyric that's several years old due to the notion that after he tried Plug by shooting first, Fresh wound up on TV as news of his death spread. Some angry Fresh fans flooded the comments with outrage at Plug's audacity. One commented, Ben told you you got lucky. Another said, Rest up, bankroll fresh. I ain't forget about you, shorty. And yet, another person said, he was a way better rapper than you, you too talentless goof. So I wanted to give you guys some insight on what people are saying online. Now these may be speculations, but it makes for a rap conspiracy. So let's read it all. I remember there were rumors that Marlo was with No Plug that night. Crazy situation all around. Facts. Damn, so Marlo really who got banked? I already knew No Plug did. Funny thing is that after Bankroll was shot, his idiot friend drove him to Children's Hospital instead of Grady or some shit. LMAO. Somebody responded and said, 
Grady's children is one block away from Grady ER, or are you talking about the Children's Hospital by Emory in Decatur, which is also right across the street from an adult ER? Somebody responded and said, LMAO. Someone also said, I don't know why this is my first time seeing this. So this one particular comment really caught my eye. They stated, no plug ain't pulled the trigger. That's why in the Vlad interview, he kept saying somebody in the car fired back. Free blue eye GF. So for you guys that don't know, GF allegedly is a Atlanta homegrown gang. So that's probably why I didn't even get it at first. Um, I had to do my research. So allegedly it's a homegrown gang in Atlanta, GF. For the longest time, I felt Bank was wrong and that he got taken by a hater. He up and then dump. That was his biggest mistake. Could have been a legend now, but he crashed out. Rest in peace, Bank. Another feed states, folks was really saying Peanut the Dun was with Plug and was the one that pulled the trigger and that he ended up dead behind it in October 2016. Also, some dude on YouTube was calling Plug a rat when he was walking out of Rice Street looking like he saw a ghost. Another person stated, Bankroll crashed out over a bitch. Wasn't over no female. Bank was doing a giveaway, going around the different hoods, and he pulled up in, I think, either Allen Temple or the Nine, and they said he couldn't do his giveaway in their hood, so he felt tried. So No Plug came to the studio, and Bank was basically telling him he not allowed since they did that to him earlier. The person responding and stated, Before all that, it was beefing about a bitch plug was hitting that bank was living with stupid shit like that that was some real hating ass shit now i will say man if this is or if it was about a female man it's not unusual man these niggas really crash out over females all the time and i'm not specifically talking about bank road fresh man i'm just talking about dudes in general man these females are for everybody don't be sitting up here thinking like oh just because you might think she hold you down soon as you get locked up she fucking another nigga off rip man and that's just how it is especially in them streets you see niggas really fall out about females man this whole situation is sad now like i said this is all speculations we don't know if it's true or not only the streets know but do you think no plug really fired the shot was he really getting clout off a kill that he didn't do y'all let me know what y'all think did no plug really get kidnapped no plug says he's the victim of a recent kidnapping in an instagram post he shared may 22nd plug claimed someone scooped him up demanded a ransom and ultimately released him in the clip he has a giant bandage on his head, and it appears his right arm is in a black sling, indicating some type of altercation went down. He stated, Y'all gonna kidnap me and let me go? He claims, It's on. Shit ain't over, my boy. We gonna fuck y'all fuck niggas up. The caption reads, Hey, should have killed me when you had the chance. Hashtag Benny Blanco. Ransom paid. Thanks. At bomb first underscore clothing. Hashtag promotional use only. Hashtag Hellcat music. I'ma kill y'all. Hashtag is the actor. Plug's claims appear incredibly suspect. In addition to the is an actor hashtag in the Instagram post, he shared another Instagram video showing himself tied up. There's a movie emoji in the caption as well. I think he lied about the whole situation. Soon after, you would see Plug continue to drop music, but not as much. He would be seen on Instagram in pictures with Jasmine Cheese. That would be Jada Waiter's sister. Soon after, you would see the pictures would begin to fade. Now she's in another relationship. No Plug will be known as the Trap Street villain, but some people think differently. You guys tell me how do you feel about this whole situation. Is No Plug official? What I would like to say, man, whatever the case may be, rest in peace, bankroll fresh, man. We see this happen time and time again. Rappers getting killed. Hell, just not rappers. Anybody that comes from that street environment. 
Sometimes it's over drugs. Sometimes it's over a female. But it's pointless. The whole objective is for us to get out the hood. We're trying to get money so we can make it out. But not stay there. And I understand we still have that street mentality. Fresh, of course he had that street mentality. You can tell because he had the AK-47. But who would have thought you'll get crossed out by someone that used to be your friend at one point? They always say, man, it's always the people that's close to you that you got to watch. And remember, think with your mind. Don't think with your heart because it can lead to somewhere that you don't want to be sometimes. And that's in a hard place. And I feel like no plug was in a hard place. He had a reputation to maintain as well. So you guys tell me how do you feel about this whole situation. At the end of the day, we got to stop the violence, man. And I know it sounds so cliche, but it's getting old like that.